everyone, I'm Cool As Ice Makeup, and I'm going to do a Marilyn Monroe makeup tutorial for this straight. I did my brows, did the moisturizer, and my left eye off camera. All the makeup products that I'll be using will be all drugstore affordable, so please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and follow me on social media. Links will be in the description below, and I'll check out. Let's get started. This is part of my Halloween makeup series, and later my history makeup series this has been requested by evelyn gordon 7253 marilyn monroe was born in 1926 and died in 1962 from a barbiturous overdose at the age of 36 she is an american actress and model on to the makeup. Brow primer, I took the hard candy one, you know Joe, and I wait for a stripe before you can do in my left eye. The palette I'm using is Rimmel Spice Edition palette. I'm not trying to blind you. I'm taking the light brown, the darker brown, the shade that's similar to my skin tone, and the shimmery white. The brushes I'm using are four from Best Soap, a crease brush, a lower lash line brush, a lid brush and sort of like a fluffy contour brush and one elf total face brush for the crease i'm taking a light brow the brush i'm using is the best taupe angled sour brush this will help contour the crease did you know that marilyn monroe's birth name is normal jean baker if you're watching me for the first time or you're seeing my face for the first time my name is Cool as Ice. I'm named after the 1991 Vanilla Ice movie, and I've been making makeup videos for four years. I used to be an animator, but I stopped to focus on making makeup videos on YouTube. What's up, Nut Pigment? I'm going to blend it. The car spear went out for my eyes. Blend, blend, blend. And my wig cap is from Dollarama, so I have a little trick for you. Put your wig cap on before you start your makeup. If you're planning on wearing a wig, that way no makeup will get on it once we get to the wig part. To sort of outline the shape that I'm going for, I'm taking brown eyeliner. Ow. This does not have to be perfect since this is a Halloween look. I'm using the Beauty Runway Brown Eyeliner Pencil, and my eye is watering a little bit. Ignore the eye wateriness. And now I'm going to take a dark brown eyeshadow. Making sure that they're even. <laughs> You want to make sure that you start from the center of the pupil and then create your lower wing. And then blend it out a little bit. It does not have to be perfect whatsoever. I might as well take my finger and start cleaning it up. That looks good. Did you know that Marilyn Monroe's makeup artist is Whitey? And that's the main makeup artist until Marilyn Monroe's death. For a one, I'm taking Annabelle Cosmetics Coma Eyeliner in Pure White, but any white eyeliner will do at home. This will make the eyes look bigger, and Whitey did this trick. And later, I'm going to, like, put a little bit of white eyeliner between the wings. You know what I mean. For the lid, I'm taking an eyeshadow that's similar to my skin tone from the Rimmel Spice Edition palette. The brush I'm using is this Best Toe Packer brush. I guess I don't know the name of it, but something similar will do at home. That looks good. And now for the top wing, I'm going to sketch it out. 
I guess. Well, I might as well clean it up with my finger. Yeah. I might as well use a dark brown eyeshadow. For Marilyn's eyeliner, she used, I believe, a dark eyeliner pencil instead of black. Shocker. But I'm using powder because it's easier for sensitive eyes and it's easier to smoke out. But any dark brown eyeshadow will do at home. This is a Halloween look, so it does not have to be perfect. And then if you make a mistake, you can just blend it. Now I'm just, I believe that looks good so far. And then I might as well take the exact same skin tone eyeshadow to go over that line. That looks good so far. This is a Halloween look, so it does not have to be perfect. And also, this is a retake of a similar look that I did a year and a half ago, back in 2023. And now, connect the lines using the exact same light eyeliner pencil to give that sleepy eye effect. I guess my right eye is my good eye and my left eye is my bad eye. To highlight the center of my lid, I'm taking the shimmery white shade using my middle finger. This will give the eyes an expressive a feeling. And then take the exact same white shimmery eyeshadow to highlight the inner corners. I'm going to apply some mascara to this eye, and I'm going to be right back. Okay, I am back. Mascara is on. I complete the eyes are given a sleepy effect to contour my face i'm taking hard candy instant summer bronzer i'm using two brushes one from best taupe to get the ideal shape and then the elf taupe face brush any like powder contour product will do at home or bronzer you want to make sure that it's matte first of all And then go towards the hairline, like stopping at the wig cap. And then the nose. Make sure, like, to start where the front of your brow is. And then draw two straight lines. And then the tip, that's what I'm explaining. To blend out the harsh lines, I'm taking the Elf Toll face brush. I believe Whitey used this technique on Marilyn to give like a heart shaped face. One of the best that you could with the powder bronzer or contour. I happen to have powder bronzer at home. And you want to make sure that it's matte, first of all. Huh? This will get the illusion of a heart-shaped face. For reference, my face shape is oval. I'm going to go with powder highlighter, like, after this step. That looks good. To highlight the rest of my face, I'm taking Hard Candy Fix My Halo Highlight, and I hit Pan on this one. I'm going to start on the nose. The normal places that I highlight. I cannot live without highlighter. It is the icing on the cake for me. And my go-to highlighter shade is white. I don't know if women highlighted their faces in the 1950s. Probably. As I turn my head to the lights, you can really see that sheen. For lip prep, I took Burt's Bees Ginger Lime Lip Balm. 
but any lip balm will do at home. Remember that listen to toilet paper, so my lips are always been harder. Chap lips are not cute. Don't lie my lips. I'm taking Annabelle Cosmetics Lip Liner in Cherry. And start on my Cupid's bow. You want to make sure that you go around the entire lips and then fill it in. According to Whitey, he used five different lipstick shades on Marilyn, but unfortunately, I only have a cherry red lip liner and sort of like a bright lipstick, bright red. And then fill it in best you could. I hope I don't look like the Joker at that end of it. Fill in your lips best you could. It should look something like this for red lipstick. I'm taking Party City red lipstick, but any red lipstick will do at home. And then one more step to complete the makeup. A beauty mark. Like. Where my mouth is, it does not have to be perfect. I'm going to apply the wig and I'm going to be right back. Here is the completed Marilyn Monroe makeup tutorial. I had a lot of fun doing it. If you have any requests, you can put them in the comments below. And my Marilyn Monroe wig is from Amazon.ca. So stay tuned for more views and eye looks. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.